What's wrong with this picture? Right. Okay, so pretty obvious. So in this short video, we're going to explain how to use dowels in a very simple way. In this case, you can see this is a really crappy old chair. And uh, my girlfriends, boys, have roughhoused a bit and they've snapped the back off of it. And when you look at it, you find that yeah, instead of using wood dowels, what these guys have done is they've just crappy wood screws through it. Just a terrible idea. This chair really isn't worth saving, other than my girlfriend likes it, and the boys feel bad that they broke it, and it's going to cost $5 to fix, so I'm just going to fix it. So how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to use wood dowels. Wood dowels like these. Now these wood dowels did cost a lot of money. I think they were about $3. So yeah, no, I got those at Home Depot. By the way, this is completely unsponsored. If you have an Ikea in your area, by the way, you can just go into Ikea and they have these sitting out. You can just grab a few of them. In my case, I need four. So it literally can cost you zero. Ikea is happy to give them to you. And so now you may ask, what tools do you need? Well, I've got lots of things here and you might be a little overwhelmed, but you shouldn't be. I've got two hammers. I may not need any hammer but I've got two and I'm planning on using this one and I only brought this one out to show you that yeah you can use a you know framing hammer if you want I have a bunch of drill bits uh, I have a piece of wood so I can uh, pull the screws out which you'll see in a second and I have a drill which I also may not need other than to pull the screws out most importantly I have glue now this is Gorilla Glue please do not pay extra for Gorilla Glue this was actually cheaper than the LePage's glue I normally use but for some reason I can't seem to find my my LePage's normal wood glue you do want to use wood glue though do not use anything but wood glue it's just worth the you know the four dollars this is worth about four dollars US for this giant bottle so okay now what do we do first we pull the screws out the only thing I'm going to use the drill for and if you don't have a drill it's okay just use a screwdriver and just before we actually get into doing the actual work you might say is that the guy's living room yep it's not going to make that much of a mess firstly and secondly it's freaking cold outside and uh, so I couldn't use my workshop in my garage because uh, the glue's got to set in warm temperatures so I brought it into my living room isn't that exciting Okay, and uh, I guess this makes the point that this is not rocket science and you can do this. You do not need to pay somebody to do a uh, basic repair like this. You can do it yourself. Okay, this just popped out, but if it didn't, I just take a piece of wood like this, pop it on and push it. Wood dowels. Now, you will notice they have little veins on the side, little channels. And that's so that they can collapse when you push them in. They'll stick, there'll be friction. And the glue will really get in there and hold it. One of the questions you have to ask is what size of dowel? Well, if you go to Ikea or somewhere, like I said, just grab a couple of different sizes. Or you can do what I did. I just bought two different packages. Um, but you can see this looks like it's going to sort of fit. So I think that's probably about right. So what I'm going to have to do is try to put this through and see, oh, not going to fit. It's just not quite large enough. I am going to have to drill that out a bit. I'm just going to eyeball it because uh, this is a friction business. So I'm going to take my dowel and my drill bit and go, eh, about the same. Uh -huh. Okay, so now what I have to do is take this dowel and I have to make sure the length. Now I could measure this. I could measure the length of the dowel and put it in the hole here and see how it, how it fits. Uh, in fact, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this and I'm just going to tap it down a bit because I need to be able to pull it back out. So that's in and then pop that through. Now I have a rubber mallet to do this, but I'm assuming you don't have a rubber mallet. So take a tea towel, pop it over top and just tap it. I'm really close to the size that I want to be. Ah, there it is, like that, like a glove. Look at that, sweet. And then that just sticks out the tiniest bit. And I'm actually gonna leave that because I'm gonna put glue on it, fill that up. Okay, so that's like a dream. Okay, woof, that's in tight. One more tool, pliers. What I'm gonna do is use pliers to pull this out. There we go, because I didn't put glue on it yet. And I definitely wanna put glue on it. This one's tricky because it's broken. So I'm just gonna have to work the side of the drill on it like this. 
make it larger. There we go. Now, what you have to do is get some glue, put the glue in the holes, take your dowel, pop it in like that. And if it's really tight, you can drill it out some more or you can get a little hammer and just sort of tap it in. The key here is to not blunt the end of this dowel because if you do, well, it's not gonna go through that hole. Get rid of any loose material that's on the chair and just see, just see if this all sort of lines up. Don't actually push it through though. Just make sure everything's still lined up and happy. Put a bunch of glue into the receiving holes here. And again, do not worry about having too much. Uh, also, you want to make sure that there's glue on the face here. Uh, and you may even want to scratch this up a bit. Uh, because you want the glue to stick to the wood. So you can... Now, this is pretty scratched up. I'm not going to bother. In particular, though, I'm going to put around that hole right there, that dowel. Okay. This dowel is not in, and I'm going to have to get it in first. So let's put this one in first like that. There, you can just feel it on the other side of my finger, so that's good. Just squeeze it in with your hands to start with. There we go. So just to show you, I pop that in right there and I'm just gonna squeeze it as hard as I can. Now there's a bunch of ways to finish this off. And by the way, don't worry about the glue that's there. It'll just come off, so don't worry about it. Um, but there's a bunch of ways to finish this off because uh, you obviously have to squeeze this in tight. So how are you going to do that? Well, look, if you don't have clamps, something proper rubberized like a rubber mallet, uh, what you can do is just take a tea towel and tap this in. Now I happen to have C-clamps, but I'm going to show you a few other things you can do if you don't have a C-clamp. So let's put this on first because I, I want to protect the wood. Now in theory, you should leave this here, but let me show you what else you could do. So what you could do, and I've seen people actually do this before, use adjustable wrench and you can crank that down and you can hold it. That's one way to go. I've also seen people successfully use vice grips. Now if you're gonna use vice grips, uh, you better make sure you've got something thick here because otherwise the teeth are gonna, are gonna dig in. But if you have a big pair of vice grips, you can just get some leverage on it or water pump pliers even and crank it down. Okay, so let's get rid of this glue. You can just do it with your finger. It will come off nicely. It's one of the beautiful things about wood glue. Now, how do we patch this? Not very hard. So this has got to snap in here, which means I've got to... I'll have to drill out the bottom a bit here to get around that dowel. There, that's going to fit in there nicely. But it's not going to fit in very well without, well, it'll fit in, but it won't hold very well without a pile of glue. So I'm going to just glue it up. And again, normally you could scratch this up, but I don't need to because this is already uh, pretty scratched. And don't worry about having too much glue, as I said. It won't be a problem. Pop that in. There, that's good. And now I've got this piece. And that piece, you can see, is a little tip of the dowel. So I'm going to have to drill that out a bit. Being careful not to go all the way through. And then I'm going to have to glue the hell out of this after I pop this piece on and make sure that it actually fits where that dowel is. Yeah, that's going to go. So I can pull this out and I'm just going to glue the hell out of it. I can't quite get that in, so I'm going to use the clamp on this one. I'm gonna wipe off the excess glue that's already there. Just wipe it off with your finger. It, it'll come off. Yeah. And you can see from me turning, cranking down the other side that this actually has come loose a bit. So I'm going to crank it down again. And again, I could use a number of tools, but I'm simply going to use a tea towel. Yes, I have rubber pads, but a tea towel works just fine. So I'm gonna put that on. There, now that's squished all the way in. That's good, it's got the glue coming out. And because this piece is uh, really falling out, it's really a separate uh, part from the general repair, 
Uh, I'm gonna leave the clamp on this one. So yeah, again, don't worry about the, this. This, uh, this uh, glue will just come out and you want it to be oozing out if you can. So that's a good thing. Now you might ask, what do you do with the backs here? That's kind of ugly. Well, there's a whole bunch of things you could do. Take some silicone and fill it up. Or you could use these, which are just little caps, and you drill it out to make it the right size. Put some glue on the cap, pop the cap in, and then you have to either paint this or color it somehow. And you'd think, crayon, really? Yeah, trust me, a crayon on these smaller pairs works wonders. I'm gonna fill this up with glue. And you think, really, you're gonna leave it like that? No, I'm not going to leave it like that. Just take some of the wood shavings I have from the drilling and put them in there. And you think, what's that gonna do? Well, really what it's gonna do is let you color it later. You're going to be able to put some marker on it or crayon on it, and that wood will be what, what receives it. So right now we're just gonna sit, we're gonna wipe off any excess glue that we see, and then we're going to let this set. In theory, you should leave this overnight, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna wait until this hardens up a bit. So we'll be back in an hour or so. All right, let's take this off. Now I have to put some more glue in this one because I had the C-clamp over it. But let's finish this off and show you how to do it. So the ideal thing would be to get uh, some brown paint and just touch it up, but I don't have any brown paint handy. Uh, so what I'm gonna use, markers. And yeah, you think that's not gonna work. Yeah, it's gonna work just fine. So if you have a crayon, it's even better. Let's go to my Sharpie. And what you wanna do is get it wet because you don't wanna have any lines. So I'm just licking my finger here and running that color out. I'm just blurring it all. So let's have a little looky-loo. That looks pretty darn good to me and I can tell you this is a heck of a lot stronger than it ever was with screws. Hey, if you found this video useful, please give us a big thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. it really helps with the Google algorithm. Subscribes always appreciated as well. If you would like to get a hold of us, you can do so at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Or you can leave a question or a comment below. And if we don't get back to you, somebody else will. Because on YouTube, everybody has an opinion. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.